Nice doing business with you. So yeah, we upgraded the power. So before we just had this channel down. And of course, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, uh, it's actually not working that well. Oh, because that's closed. Brilliant. So right now we've got 4,600 power. Uh, it should be like, it should top out at like 6,000. So, uh, but it looks like I, I need to reopen that, that floodgate. Uh, Erush has created Orodad, a green glass goblet. Offers it to the armor of blisters. Well, we've had a rash of uh, stolen things lately. So, you know, we could probably put that in our tavern. Take a look at it. Or Odad, the drink of feasts. This is a green glass goblet worth 23,000. It is decorated with point cut green glass gems and chicken leather and encircled with bands of rectangular diorite cabochons and oval orthoclase cabochons. This object is adorned with hanging rings of black zircon and menaces with spikes of green glass and black zircon. On the item is an image of two macadamia trees in green, green glass. On the item is an image of Lolly Bluntscale, the elf, and Rorissa Lysewandered, the rumored radiances, the minotaur, in giant cave spider silk. Rorissa is striking down Lolly. The artwork relates to the killing of the elf Lolly Bluntscale by the minotaur um, in the Swamp of Droplets in 31. On the item is an image of Libash, a hammer the dwarf, and dwarves in diorite. Libash is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf, Libash Hammerdor, to the position of king of the hairy roof in the early winter of 251. What a fine, fine goblet. Of note, unlike Kulsimageb, which has rum, it does not, but that's okay. Anyway, so we've been um, cleaning up the fort a little bit and apparently we toppled a statue here. So you know what, while we're here, before we place this statue, we'll re-tile the floor here. We had a lot of mess around here, you know? How do we already have mud there? I just retiled it. Um, in any case, uh, other than that, we've had a couple of tantruming dwarves and stuff like that, but nothing like too serious. I was meaning to construct stairs here and just do this all the way up. Hopefully we have enough blocks for this now. We do. Excellent. Wunderbar. We have this giant cave spider here, which has been a perpetual disappointment, let me tell you. This Forgotten Beast has been doing some deadly work down here. Damsto and Warosp.
One notable kill and 95 others. Killed one other, uh... One other Forgotten Bills. Killed a Gorlack, you criminal! 31 Crundles, 29 Crundles. Yeah, this, this one... This one has deadly dust. It's, it's been doing some things. Looks like it's on the hunt for more elk birds. Once upon a time I thought about maybe capturing some elk birds so that I could uh, have a bit of a industry around them, but ended up deciding to go with chickens instead. Apparently the elk birds are a little faster than it. It's amazing it's killed anything. All right, well, moving on. So this is still a big old mess. And we have a lot of uh, serrated green glass that I've been meaning to use in some way. we discovered where the spire might be? I don't think so. be a fun secondary bedroom area if it's not. Let's do that. So let's um, we'll actually deconstruct these walls. And we'll just dig down. What's the worst that could happen? Mayor would like bags. Mm, leather bags today. And we've been making leather f or lead figurines. Um, let's actually also make some rock figurines out of what? Diorite? Because we have billions of diorite. And uh, you know what? We're going to specify... the uh, four river otters. Oh, we have a uh, overlord overlord visiting. I always like to question the overlords. Uh, yep. Apparently, I've been shirking my duties here.
Let's uh, restart the construction of those stairs. Boop, boop, boop. This will teach me for not putting down flooring before I build over it, but you know, it's fine. Bum. but we can put what the, the ones down that we have. Still in good shape as far as tombs go, so I guess it's fine. Oops. 
Now, how am I going to find the one that I canceled? Oh, I happened to cancel that one. Well, that's convenient. So now we have the full 7,000 power going through here, which should be more than enough to handle Magma Stage 3 once we get that built. Um, is full now. Hey Nolzel, how you doing? Welcome on in. First time chatter. It's going well. Had a couple of brawls today, a couple of issues. Oh right, I was digging here. Not yet. I mean, I'm kind of looking. I actually don't even see one at the moment. But I built all of the bedrooms in these bottom few layers here. And I think it'd be kind of neat to continue building that way. Yes, heated bedrooms, exactly. Like, I think this would be particularly cool for, like, a f eventual uh, royalty. Assuming I don't accidentally flood it with lava, which might be bad.
Anyway, so that's the plan for today. It's just kind of digging around a little bit, seeing what we can find. Like, I think this could be a nice, nice area for a royalty. We'll just ignore the fact that uh, this is off of the the prison, right? We could probably design it a better, better route in, but it's fine. I do. And I give them pleasant statues to look at, too. Now, this is beyond the pale. That is a very sacred... sacred object in this fort. Kulsimageb is the superior bulb. It is a black zircon mug with rum in it that um, we had been storing in our in our uh, in our main ca uh, tavern here it has a position of prominence Yeah, you're unimportant. You're just a forgotten beast. You didn't steal our secret mug. Uh, a forgotten beast, no new Thramedleti has come. A great eyeless sauropod. It has two long, straight tails, and it has a gaunt appearance. Its slate gray scales are blocky and set far apart. Beware its poisonous bite. I mean, I'm sure I don't care about you. You're very cute. But largely, you're going to die to another Forgotten Beast. That's that's what's going to happen. Sorry to say. That's it, Locum. Put it back where it belongs. Thank you. That was one of the first, uh, one of the first artifacts this this fortress made. It's just really important.
thanks everybody for hanging out today. Appreciate you for being here. Last day of the week for me. Normally here Monday through Friday. 6.30 Eastern until, you know, 12, 1, whatever. I was here until 4 yesterday or something like that. You know, once you get to your 12th Forgotten Beast for the day, it just starts to lose its luster. The Forgotten Beast is Zest has come, an enormous one-eyed, six-legged crocodile. It has a bloated body, light blue scales, are small and close set, and yeah, it breathes fire. Basically a dragon without being called a dragon. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to see some, some fire here. This was on the same level as the... Uh, the Deadly Dust um, Forgotten Beast. I think it was on the same level as one of the web spinners, but that might be the web spinner that's dead right there. Oh, here we go. Forgotten Beast on Forgotten Beast battle here. Forgotten Beast hurls a ball of fire, attacks but it misses, kicks a Forgotten Beast, bruising the muscle, caught in a burst of uh, frozen extract, hurls a ball of fire, I don't know, let's we'll see how this turns out. Is shocked after being attacked. Oh, it's bleeding. Apparently, the other uh, forgotten beast was just toying with it before. Because now the real blood starts to fall. Zest is in emotional shock, and Zest is dead. Coming out victorious is Damsto Ostensador, um, who has um, 102 other kills and two Forgotten Beasts to his name, their name, its name. Uh, in terms of health, it has a broken trunk, upper leg is dented, right foot is dented, neck is dented, left lower leg is dented, and its mouth is dented. Um, but yeah, 103, 102 kills there. Good stuff. Hey, we need to make bags, something new. Um, yarn bags this time. All right, I was doing something before this came up. Oh, I was digging. Oh, you know what? Um, we had a lot of pigtails, right? Yeah. Look at that, we're out of eggs. All right, so how many pigtails do we have? 290 can probably use a few of those. Process, plants. All right. All right, well, let's 
didn't really lead us anywhere yet. But you know, I'm not anxious to go into the spires, you know, it's a good way to die. not seen it. Oh, over here. journey, shall we? It was stolen again? Crying out loud, people. about this she rather Get them! Do not let them escape. Remember the Fellowship of Stokers, huh? Wish we had way of knowing where that was. Military, you disappoint me. Was the most important artifact in our in our whole fort. And you let it go. Not 
not sure why we still have all this dead stuff in here. What is your problem? There is nobody out there. There's nobody out there. No one. Seriously, zero. Buttons. Buttons. That's enough. That's enough. Yes. Hello, hello buttons. Yes, hello. See what this gets us. Oh, I didn't even realize we have a duchess now. Grand dining room, grand mausoleum, two more chests, one more cabinet, and one more weapon rack and armor stand. Dining room needs to be improved, right? Is that what it said? Dining room. All right, well. Just we check that stone for heat. What devilry is this? Side, no one died. Win. Um, all right. So we need more cabinets, huh? And uh, green glass. 
statues. And you want armor stands. Well, I have to make an armor stand anyway, so win win. stand and we have a happy 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 duchess
am not good at digging into these spires. Let me just tell you that. Not good at all. <laughs> Early winter, 266. those miners. That was not my intent. Yeah, we'll leave that alone for the rest of the day. Uh, let's see here. What else can we do today, huh? Did a few things. Vile force of darkness has arrived. You, you, you think you scare me? enough I'm going to close the gate. Just ducky, let me tell you. Goblin Bowman here. They made a mess of my roof, let me tell you. You're exasperated when caught in the rain? Get your priorities straight, buddy. Oh, my military has arrived.
Siege is over. Nice job, people. Now clean up this mess. No patience for these invaders. Free sub. I'm sorry to say you've passed on. It might have been because you dug into a lava area and burst into flames, but still. We'll make we'll make a very nice um A memorial for you though all right that's the least I could do uh, Anam Sazir now what's the other one Iteb This is coming along nicely. I'm glad that this seems to be working. That's good. Apparently we're out of splints. Apparently I don't have a manager anymore because our manager died a horrible death. Sexel. I never did give the manager a better office than this, but you know. It's fine. gonna let that burn for a little bit all right what else can we do today might might be done child is uh, withdrawn from society.
way into Crastor shop and is gathering things right now. Sand pear wood logs. Goodbye to the dwarves. And we'll say goodbye to the week. Thanks for tuning in to all these Wednesdays, everybody. I appreciate you. Um, Reality's Lens is out now. And looking for people to read it. Uh, it's got four Twitch authors in there. Myself, The Tiger Rights, uh, Noir Lady Luck, and Maya Rights in there. Uh, Futures Lens is also looking for people and, uh, to read it, that is, and uh, provide ratings and reviews and all that stuff. Science Fiction Anthology with five Twitch authors in there. Myself, The Tiger Rights, The Lady Rights, Noir Lady Luck, and Usurper Kings. Uh, I am collaborating with Artist Buation on Buttons the Superdog. I was talking earlier about uh, some of the images I had for that, so... Uh, hopefully we'll see some more coming soon, so stay tuned. Uh, I have a blog. I post there Monday through Thursday. Um, and yeah. What's what about? You're talking about Reality's Lens, Future's Lens, or Buttons the Superdog? Because <laughs> all three are books. <laughs> So, Futures Lens is a science fiction anthology. Reality's Lens is a fantasy anthology. So it's four stories that are fantasy stories, but they're they're all different. Um, and then Buttons the Superdog is a children's book. You can actually listen to me reading Buttons the Superdog over there if you want to hear hear the story itself. Uh, my story inside Reality's Lens is about a family who are uh, fleeing war and um, they uh, discover something that they've never discovered, that has never been discovered before and uh, are given a choice between survival and uh, changing. And it's not as easy as just picking.